Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Tuesday. It's May 12th. Day 53. Thinking about thinking, understanding fear, finding joy out of suffering. And it's day four of Master Yourself. Before I come online, I have to repeat the numbers of the days over and over again because we're getting so deep into it that I honestly am losing track. Day 53, it, you know, when I started this course five years ago, I never for a moment thought that I would have enough material for 91 days every day. And then I did it. And then later that year, so I released a book, released this course. Later that year, I was diagnosed with cancer. I kept writing, but I never really did anything with it until just about two years ago. I opened up a Word file, realized I had a Word document with 300,000 words, and converted it into four books. And now, two years later, I have one or two more ready to go? I don't know. I don't know how that happens. But it's amazing how quickly time and learning and material and knowledge, how fast it accumulates when you are, um, I guess, not paying attention. And then when all of a sudden the lights go on and you pay attention, there's this moment of surprise. But today is, again, day four of Master Yourself. And one of the most important lessons to learn in order to gain mastery over self is really your mind. It's to not necessarily ignore all the negatives, but again, to, to use that concept of listen, but be skeptical. And when you can be skeptical about everything you listen, you learn to discern the truth and you learn to find the positivity about the truth because there's good and bad in everything that's the law of polarity it's like up and down left and right front and back if there's bad in every situation there has to be good in every situation it's just how it works and i can't stress this enough if you want to improve other people you have to improve yourself first and in fact the only way to improve other people is to improve yourself. When you improve yourself, you find that you self-select individuals out of your world or you just don't care. You don't get caught into the drama that other people create. Social media is great for giving a voice to the voiceless but it does not teach the voiceless how to actually use their voice. And really all that they're doing is they're making themselves worse and others worse. They are single, you know, social media has the power to either build up a community or tear it down. And unfortunately, sometimes I see more tearing down than others. You know, there was, uh, snowbirds went over Sunday, this area and a lot of people posted videos and one person posted a video and it you know, might have been a little grainy I'm not even sure what the caused the video to look like that but all the comments were about how brutal the video was and how old technology and it must have been you know a, a Motorola flip phone or, or Nokia flip phone but all of that is just noise that doesn't matter and those are the moments that years gone by I would have been triggered by those comments but now I'll reach out to that person who is getting shamed online and you know privately will say I appreciate what you did thank you I'm sorry that you have to experience the negative of our culture so there's my challenge I guess my ask of you today, start by controlling yourself. Stop trying to control other people. Cultivate the habit of focusing your thoughts. Get the 
you know, if you I use that example of train the butterflies to fly in the same direction, train your thoughts to go in the same direction. Mental conditioning is useful whenever you want to develop quality, but at the end of the day, it comes down to you. It's an effective way to achieve self-mastery, and I just shared this story in another group, and I want to share it again today because it really resembles everything. Back in 2003 at SARS Fest, Downsview Park in Toronto, the Stones were headlining, and a young Justin Timberlake was on the bill. And when he was performing, people were throwing water bottles at him, but he kept going. He kept performing his set. And after the show, in the press conference, he got asked about you know the things that were being thrown at him. And his answer was, if I paid to see the Stones, I'd throw shit at me as well. I've loved him ever since. Because that's a message we all need to understand. If your goal is to achieve peace and joy and ease, don't worry about the other shit that's getting thrown at you. Because it doesn't matter. Show up, do your best, train your thoughts to go in one direction, and focus on yourself. I love you a lot. Until tomorrow, stay safe, stay healthy, and be kind to yourself and to others.